Okay, I'm back. We are going to continue on our mission, I believe. I'm still headed towards... Yeah, we're going to the Jewel of the Commonwealth. So... We are going to head... We're going to do it as safely as we can, but we're going to head south. Need to have a gun of some kind equipped. All right, um, we're either going to cross that way or that way. I think we're going to go across this bridge here. Remember to hit vats every once in a while to detect possible landmines. Got to do that when you're traveling. Okay, let's go across this here bridge. Okay, we got a uh, Mr. Gutsy. He's friendly though. So I'm showing positive IFF. So I'm gonna go ahead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna cross the bridge. Yes. Okay, let's save and then cross the bridge. Violation detected. You just made my Whoa! <laughs> well, no, we're not gonna cross this bridge. We're not gonna cross that bridge. New plan. Cross the other bridge. That bridge is bad news. Cross this bridge over here. It's safer. That guy took me out in like two or three shots. I am not ready for him. Need a little bit of height. Because the bridge does not connect to the ground. It connects about halfway up the slope here. Just the train bridge we're crossing. Get there by following the tracks. This is where I normally come across. Now, the other thing we need to do is we need to score this location. We don't really need to score this location. There's a reason why you don't want to score it. Because you're going to be able to increase the experience points for scoring it later. Okay, I'm in the wrong clothes. Let's go put on the right clothes. Chest piece, left arm, the other right leg. No, this is the one three. One three. I don't know which one is which. I'm gonna wear that hard hat, military fatigues, patrolman glasses. All right. I gotta loot him. We're coming up on a farm.
Orlando Station. Excuse me. We could really use your help. I'd be glad to. Just tell me what's going on. We're having a lot of trouble with a group of raiders. Stealing our food and supplies. Do you think you can persuade them to leave us alone? Oh, yes. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Ah, oh, good. It'll be a relief not to have to worry about them. Alright, so we'll do that. I'm gonna loot your, your plants, though. Because you don't mind if I do. Therefore, neither do I. Alright, let's get out of here. Keep heading south. I got a vault. Picking up a vault on my... Uh... The vault is off that way. But I want to get this. This is some XP. Zone. Couple of zombies. I got you, I got you. Let's do it. worked out pretty good. Did it just enough damage for Codsworth to finish them off. Alright, so now the vault is there, okay. So is the road. I don't need to uh, crouch for this. I don't think. I'm going to switch to my primary weapon. Is that brain fungus? It is. Let's have some. Now we're going to go. We're going to loot this area first. If lootable it is. I'm not gonna take anything that is considered stealing, but we will take everything that's not. Nothing in there. Ooh, the traitor is dead. I'm so sorry. Bottle cap, corn. Money, take the drugs, take the bobby pins. Okay, I can unlock that, right? That's it. Okay, now you got glowing fungus back here. You got some more day tripper. Now, you this is stealing, so I'm not gonna take that. Take your silt beans. And I'll take your blood leaf. Alright. Move. Alright, let's do this. Now, I gotta go around there. But I gotta go. I'm gonna go through the town 
I'm going to skirt by the town because there's usually some, some, something interesting in the town. But sometimes it's too much. I don't think I'm going to do the vault yet. I'm going to go... I want to score the vault as a location, but I'm going to go past it. Because the vault is a lot. There's a, the vault is a whole lot. The vault is going to be a playthrough or two. So. I want to get to Diamond City as fast as I can. Alright, so I've scored the vault. I'm not going in yet. I can come back when I, when I need to. Get this bloat fly. Wow, I think there's a whole lot of damage to it. Okay, something's hitting me. Okay, got him. Got some bloat fly meat. Oh, that thing is way the hell over there. Okay, well, if you feel nostalgic over this place. Okay, we got blood bugs. I want that 78. That's what I want. Alright. Okay, I got the next guy. Let's see here. Okay, so you killed somebody over here. Yeah. Good for me, good for you. You call this a fight? Uh, I guess. You're here somewhere. You went out the other side, didn't you? Alright, so. Cut it off, eh? That won't do. Oh, yes. I never I dare say I'm. Well, don't light me on fire. What's all this then? Found you! Alright, some brain fungus. Radex, Mentets, Turpentine. Well, you meant to leave that rubbish where you found it. No, I did not. I meant to take every last bit of it. Because it is junk, and in this game there's no such thing as junk. There is only crafting material. Safe. Can I open the safe? Master. No, I cannot. Alright, so. I've got a desk fan. Desk, there's nothing in the desk. Alright, um, I know it's on that terminal. I'm not going to get into it. It's basically, the terminal, you go into the terminal and then you find out that underneath that boat there's supposed to be some kind of treasure. I've never been able to find it, that treasure, underneath that boat, so I'm gonna ignore it. Just going about my business. Okay, there's more enemies up ahead. That's fine. Wow, 
that egg gun is much more powerful than that. easy to get caught up. Next little bit is tricky. So there are enemies there that are tough and I don't want to get into them. But there are enemies here that are tough and I don't really want to get into them either. Basically you gotta face one set of enemies or the other. You gotta face either super mutants Right here, you gotta face, you got a choice between facing super mutants or facing raiders. That is the hardware store. That's an actual mission right there. I'm not gonna do that mission, so. Somebody please help! She's hurt! Anybody! Help! That's a, uh, if I just go to Diamond City, I will pick up the mission that that woman talking about she's gonna die, she needs help. That's a mission you get in Diamond City. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that mission when I get in Diamond City. Right, so I'm here. And it is time to put on my charisma clothes. So black room glasses, clean tan suit, militia hat. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> Danny, open up! You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on with the bluff. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Indeed. One of my favorite places in the game. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer Ooh, scrapped that for parts. Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? 
because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Oh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there is uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnappings? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. Okay. First, let me square things with this dude over here. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. <sighs> you're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Yeah, well, I mean, you're not wrong, though. I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of trading with Crazy Myrna, so... Alright, I'm almost level 11. I believe level 11 is a idiot savant level, so I, that, that perk is already picked out for me. So, this is the famous Diamond City. I suppose I'm going to find a gem the dusty home base. In the rough. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. The mayor's clothes closed. Uh, I cut her hair myself. And for our service, yeah. only a wow. diamond city oh. surplus. Okay. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. Let's see what you got. The highest quality available. Okay, um... What do you have? Now I remember why I usually go to Vault 81. Because if you go to Vault 81, you can buy a much, much better gun than what I'm packing. What any of these people have. Okay, what 
else do you got? Cutting fluid, dust pan, duct tape. What am I selling you? I'm gonna sell you the security baton. I'm gonna sell you the short pipe rifle. I'm gonna sell you the, the that left arm. The athletic outfit. Red stag, definitely. Uh, keeping, I don't what what a hey, don't I need? I don't need the bubble gum. I don't need the day tripper. There's nothing I can do with that. Radiated blood I do need. I only need one nuclear cola. I don't need the Salisbury steak. Alright. Um That's good enough. So I'm just gonna sell that stuff to you. I don't need anything else. I don't need Mr. Thomas! Stuff. Taking a trip down memory lane with that? Oh man, you got a robot butler? Hey. Something you need, I sir? Oh, I thought he was talking to me. I thought he wanted to talk. Anyway. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna. Uh, there's some stuff here that I want to buy, so I'm gonna rest and wait. I'm gonna wait out the hey, morning. There's a bar in the old theater district that's paraders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Yeah, I, I will. Um, so I'm gonna sit here on the bench. And I'm gonna wait until the morning. So 9 p.m. 9 30, 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 30, 7 38, 30. I just waited 12 hours, I waited till 9 30. I counted wrong somewhere in there. It's fine. I'll live. Nice day, huh? Nice enough. All right, so let's start here. Uh, hello. Have you been here before? What's it matter? Because Fallon's isn't a charity. The clothes are for sale if you have the money. No lifting, all right? No mooching. Got it. Good. Now that we understand each other, welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. Let's see what you got. A paying customer. Finally. All right. Um, army fatigues? I got military fatigues. I don't need the army fatigues. Okay, uh, what else? We got some good stuff. All right, I don't need anything you have. I'm cool. Let's get out of here. This should have triggered the event. What yep, have you done with real training. Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Luke? Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. So that was that. Let's let everybody return home. Come on, guys. Go back. Go back to what you're doing. Wow, okay. That's just going to stare forever. Fine. That's the case. I'm going to go do my stuff. Sometimes you gotta wonder does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. 
They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of that kind of That's pretty much one of the next quests I wanted to follow the Freedom Trail. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Something more? Oh, Nick. Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Don't worry. I can help. Tell me what happened. Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Yeah, that hat and trench coat. That is the most distinguished thing about Nick. Okay, let's go through the door first. We're gonna level up in a minute. But there are a few quests in here that I can do. But before I do that, I'm gonna start. Newcomer, huh? Yeah, I'm coming. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go get Piper first. Diamond City surplus is where you can sell all those scraps you scared. Okay, let's go talk to Piper. Where is she? I'm glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. 
Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Okay, I'm going to take her as my companion right now. Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Miss Wright, I trust you'll do your best to put the safety of my master before your own personal gain. Of course, Codsworth. Jesus. Lucky for me, those two things go hand in hand. Uh, Codsworth is going to Red Rocket. Alright. Oh, my hit, my hit points healed up by themselves. What do they use you for? Alright, we're going to Diamond City. And... That is going to be the end of this particular playthrough. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Please remember to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the share button on your way out. Peace.